Hey there, welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. Uh, as usual, I'm joined by Mr. Matt Gorley. Matt, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. I'm in full voice. Uh, yes, <laughs> exactly. And you bring that up for a reason because uh -huh. Sona came in today and she has no voice and uh, she just keeps making us giggle because your attempts to, to talk are a lot of fun. What's oh, going God. on with you? My voice is good. <laughs> My voice is good. So what? So My what? My voice is gone. Do you know why your voice is gone? Did you go to a a club? Did you scream at your twins? No, I think that I, I mean, uh, Andy explained this to me. Could have to. I, I Andy, I'm going to translate because it's very hard. <laughs> Sometimes when a mouse is talking at the bottom of a well, oh. it's hard to hear everything the mouse says. <laughs> but what the mouse at the bottom of the well just said was Andy was talking, and that's Andy Richter. Andy Richter, who's out in the hallway. Who's yeah. out in the hallway said that if sometimes if you have a lot of mucus, which I did, mm -hmm. it could it could sometimes happen. I, he explained it, and I I listened, I understood, yeah. and I forgot. I think it's better to go to Andy Richter than any doctor. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, he told me my heart's fine. By the way, uh -oh. yeah, is it not fine? Well, you know, every now and then, uh, but no. Wait, <laughs> I, what? I, I go, no, I'm saying I go to I go to Andy for wrong all important. I go to Andy for all important decisions. <laughs> Yeah. about my health. No, uh, and and you still came in, which makes you a real trooper. Well, I didn't want to, but I couldn't say... I, I, couldn't, I, just couldn't. Not couldn't. <laughs> Today's not the day, O'Brien. Today is not the day. This is sad because your voice is your superpower and you without your voice is kind of sort of pity, pitiful. Imagine being in an ethnic house with a lot of Armenians and not being able to project. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. So it's the worst thing you that's have, ever you to have me. such a powerful voice and you've, and Eduardo, you will, uh, you will chime in on this, that she has blown out many of um, of our microphones. Yeah, this is her fourth microphone. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. And, um, why no, it's true. It's true. Uh, we've got very sophisticated equipment in here. Uh, I speak in uh, well, what's been described as dulcet tones. Gorley Aero Pro. Yeah, uh, a, they yeah. call me the pod, the velvet pod. <laughs> yeah, the, the foggy <laughs> pod voice. <laughs> yeah, the potty. <laughs> the foggy pod. Vel He's the vol a fo foggy pod. The yeah. other problem uh, I have to admit is um, Blay sits in on these, and uh, he's a giant bellows that you'd put next to a fireplace. Right. Uh, uh, you're I extremely loud. I always have to turn down my earphones when he. Gets Don't up just to the take mic. it easy. Don't do your normal thing, what? Blay. But I, when you you get excited, I, it's not your fault. You get excited because you're like a giant, giant sheepdog, and you go running up to the mic and you yell things. All of that is true. Oh, that was better. Nice. Thank you. That was fantastic. Yes. Can I also just say I feel like it's not my fault because I have a large head, so naturally my voice is louder just because what? of the physical. Yeah, I wouldn't know about a large head. <laughs> yeah, my, I, six of your heads fit inside one of my head. <laughs> So I'm not interested in that excuse. Um, <laughs> Sona, does it hurt to talk? I hope. I mean, I hope. No, no. I, what I meant to say was, was, to, is it painful when you speak? No, it's not painful. Okay. It's not, it doesn't hurt it's at all. It's kind of painful to me. <laughs> so I don't is it? Care. Is it? <laughs> I don't care what's what are you, painful to you. What's it? Your, uh, your kids I didn't understand? Mean that. It, didn't really I didn't mean it either. Your kids and uh, you have disciplinary issues with your wow. with your twins, wow, but okay. do they? <laughs> is it hard to keep them? Well, you've sent me videos of them pretty much taking the house apart with hammers. <laughs> are you oh. able to control them when you don't have your voice? No. It's so yesterday, because I usually read to them when tax at karate. And then yesterday, I yeah, couldn't I mean, read to Again, them. let me just, uh, again, translate. Uh, your husband, Tack, <laughs> still takes karate. Three, yeah. three times a week? Three nights a week, yeah. yeah. Well, he's ready. He's ready for that ninja attack. Okay. So, what, and so then, jealous. No, no. Yeah, not at all. I are. think it's ridiculous. You're uh, jealous. A, a father of, of two. He has no, there's no time for karate. <laughs> there's no time. You do things for yourself. That's, you're supposed to continue. No, I go to a place where I am waxed. Someone else does the waxing. <laughs> <laughs> they just put on the, you know what uh, I mean? And then I'm hmm. scraped and exfoliated and powdered. Oh, oh, those powders. Anyway, so you. Uh, so I was, I usually read to the boys. Mikey could not understand why I couldn't read to him, even though I was like, I just don't have a voice. I don't mm -hmm. have a voice. He probably thought you didn't love him or something. Yeah, he just can. He yelled, "Read, read, read!" over and over again for like what an a hour. What a monster! What a tyrant! Monster. What a tyrant! Oh my god! Yeah, I hated it Very so Stal much. Very Stalin-esque, I think. I almost yeah. started crying because I was like, oh, "What am I going to do? I don't have a voice." You think I like this? Yeah, he has no empathy. I just, just this is the worst thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's scary. Well, it's scary. Don't, don't say that about no, my No, no, I'm just saying he'll grow, and let's just hope that he develops an uh, empathetic inner voice. Oh my God! Well, I'm just saying, uh, for him to be screaming at his sick mother, terrible. Oh, you're one to talk. Um, you're an awful uh, person. Uh, your daughter's lovely, by the way. Uh, she is lovely. 
um, clear, clearly empathetic. <laughs> no? What's the matter with your daughter? She Nothing's wrong with my daughter. She's just really giving us a run for her money. I was up at three and haven't been asleep since. Mm. Also, she's big into role play, you know, where she'll go like, you're Elsa, I'm Anna, or you're Cookie Monster, I'm Big Bird. But then now she goes up to strangers in the streets. Okay. She'll go up to a grown man by himself, look at me, point at him and go, you this guy. Oh. <laughs> And the guy's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so she's directing an improv show uh -huh. with unwilling participants. Yeah, which makes me feel like I got to go up to the go guy and go like, can you give me some of your character traits? What are you into? Yeah. yeah. I got to faithfully portray you or my daughter's going to throw a tantrum. Uh, you do have kind of a laugh. Your laugh kind of works still. Or a little bit there. Yeah, that's nice. The laugh works. Okay. As long as the laugh works, I'm happy. Yeah. You know? God, as long as I get the chuckles, I'm good. Do you feel any, you you have any? <laughs> any what? Are you I can't hear, I'm sorry. Oh, this is a well, No, I, I, thing, I, right? I really want to hear you. I, I do. I want to say, do you feel at all sad for me? <laughs> Why are you laughing so no, hard, you dick? I'm not laughing at I'm you. So sorry. I don't call me a dick, you I'm big sorry. rod. No, I'm not. <laughs> big rod. I'm not. Listen, sad. I'm on your side. I do feel sad for I you. Don't, I, I think it's adorable. I have to say, I'm, I'm being really honest now. Sona, I don't feel badly for you. I feel, no. I don't. I have no feelings of sadness. I think it's adorable. I want to give you a little cheese. I want to. I want you to live in a little hole in the wall. Wait. I want you. I want you every now and then to decide that you're going to ride, take a little leaf and turn it into a boat and go down a stream. Oh, Do you know that what I mean? Be nice. And that when it rains, you just take a little top of an acorn and you put it over you. Yeah. And it protects you from the rain. This is not. It's. I wish I didn't come into work today. Well, I'm so glad you did. It makes is, me happy. The good thing is that after the interview, we're going to come back for a segment and talk more about this. Oh, yeah. So, so you're glad. about to be part of the segment, and that's going to be fun. Oh, good. Because. You know, I, I, you know, it's. I'm sure it's going to be a great interview, but just you chiming in every now and then, a little squeak, squeak, is going to yeah. make me happy. You're such a bad person. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs>